Hello everyone and welcome to video 3 in the anatomy and physiology series of the OCRPE A level. So this video is going to be looking at the types of muscle fibres and the types of muscular contractions. So two things you should be able to do by the end of this video is firstly explain the difference between the different types of muscle fibres and secondly define and explain the different types of muscular contractions. So before we get into this slide here you'll see at the top here I've got SO, FOG and FG those are the muscle fiber types but they're not recognized shorthands in the exam so but you know write these in your notes it makes it a lot quicker but remember SO is slow oxidative muscle fibers what this means is these are the the small ones they produce a low force contraction over a long period of time aerobically and these are predominantly used in sports such as a marathon FOG are fast oxidative glycolytic muscle fibers now what these are is these are like moderate you know, in, intermediate size between slow oxidative and the fast glycolytic and these respire both anaerobically and aerobically to produce you know an intermediate force contraction over an in, intermediate you know, period of time such as a 400 meter race they are also known as like the speed endurance muscle fibers finally for the fast glycolytic muscle fibers these are the largest they produce the largest uh, force contraction over the shortest time period and a great sporting example of this is a hundred meter sprint think about it that's it it's done in like nine ten seconds so that's the example there so moving back to this table we I have laid out both the structural and functional characteristics of each type of muscle fiber so if you read down the column what you'll be able to find is as you know the smaller the, on the left the slow oxidative they are the smallest they have small neuron size but they have a lot of capillaries they have a high myoglobin content many mitochondria it's because they're producing aerobically they need that energy source so basically what I want you guys to do is copy out this table into your books or your paper whatever you're doing look over the table stick it up on your wall somewhere just memorize the table and what then you can do is move it into brainscape as I was saying before make your flashcards so what you can be doing is saying talk about the structure uh, muscle fiber in relation to slow oxidative fast oxidative glycolytic and fast glycolytic muscle fibers and then for each of them what you would say is SO equals small muscle fiber size FOG equals intermediate effort, uh, muscle fiber size and FG equals large muscle fiber size do that for them it's a very simple recall and that's what these questions are there'll be one to two mark sort of questions like state even if you get it in a long 20 mark question what you'll be getting for this is just you know def state three characteristics that's that'll get your a01 sort of things and then related sport for you know i would do 20 mark questions with you on this channel that's not what we're going to do now so get this table down make it into flashcards and learn it guys so after we've you know learned about the different types of muscle fibers we need to know about the different types of muscular contractions so basically there's two main types of muscular contractions you have isotonic and isometric so isotonic is where the muscle is changing length when exerting a force and a simple example of this is the bicep the bicep brachii I should say sorry so this shortens and lengthens during a bicep curl you know here's a sporting example as well playing here's a video if you watch the bicep, it shortens and lengthens throughout the whole movement. But remember guys, right bicep brachii, I should have put that in there. It's bicep brachii, not just bicep now. Secondly, the first sub, you know, area of the isotonic contraction is the concentric isotonic. This is where the muscle fibre shortens when performing it, you know, exerting a force. So let me take this to the rectus femori in the quadricep group. That is shortening to extend the knee when it's executing a rugby conversion. The other part is the eccentric isotonic. It's where the muscle fiber is lengthening. So take the rectus femoris again. That is now lengthening during the preparation phase of a rugby conversion where the knee flexes. Finally, we will look at the isometric muscular contraction. Now this is unique because what this is, is this is where the muscle is not changing length when exerting a force. So the best example I can think of this is everyone, everyone does a wall sit. Everyone's done a wall sit in you know, year 8 PE. You know, the vastus lateralis, which is part of the quadricep group, well, that does just remains the same length to keep you in that wall sit position. You know, something called static strength it is where the muscle, you know, does not change length to, you know, resist against a force. That's what that is. So, what have we learned in today's video? Firstly, is the ability to explain the difference in the different types of muscle fibers, both structurally and functionally. Secondly, we have also learned the ability to explain the difference between the different types of muscular contractions. Now, moving on to the next video, what we're going to look at is the cardiovascular system at rest. So firstly, is the heart and the blood vessel structure. Secondly, our cardiac cycles. Thirdly, is the conduction system. 
So thank you everyone for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with your friends. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.